Hey, New Life Church, my name is Bailey Dearman. My husband, Philip, and I serve at our Greater Little Rock campus, but I also have the privilege of serving on the campus development team, which means I get to travel across the whole state and serve alongside many of you. However, this summer we had the amazing opportunity to serve in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil with a local church there called Light to the Nations. It was pretty cool because that particular church my in-laws got to help plant back in the early 2000s and my husband hadn't been back to Rio since he was a missionary kid there. So it was a pretty cool opportunity and um, I could go into a whole testimony just about how the Lord orchestrated us getting to go. But I'm going to tell you about one of the stories that happened while we were on the trip. So that particular morning we got up, we went to a class on the spiritual climate of Brazil by one of the local pastors. And this class was just to prepare our hearts because we were gonna go on a prayer walk around one of the favelas there in Rio. Um, if you don't know what a favela is, it's kind of like a neighborhood, maybe even a slum. But um, this particular favela, like much of Rio, had a really strong um, influenced by witchcraft. And so we were just going into this neighborhood, walking around, praying, claiming the area back for Christ. And as we were walking on our neighborhood or around the neighborhood, we saw these two gentlemen that looked really discouraged, leaned up against the wall. And the pastor who was leading us around the neighborhood, Simone, she stopped and she said, I had a dream about you last night. And in my dream, you were on your knees, surrendering your life to the Lord. And so um, she asked if she could take some time to talk to this gentleman and tell him about Jesus, and he agreed. So my husband actually had the amazing opportunity to talk to this gentleman, pray with him, and eventually got to even lead him in the salvation prayer. And as we were praying for him, I felt like the Lord told me that I needed to encourage him with the Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. And because I'm human, like many of us, um, I kind of fought back and forth with God, like, do I really need to do that? Are you sure he needs to hear this? Um, but eventually I surrendered and I told the translator, hey, I want to tell him something as well. I feel like the Lord wants him to know that um, he has plans for his life, plans to prosper him, not to harm him, to give him a hope and a future, and that his life is never going to be the same again. That um, Jesus sent us all the way across the world just to tell him how loved he is and to help encourage him that he's going to make a difference for Jesus in this community. And so we got to pray with him, encourage him. And as we were leaving, the other gentleman who was actually like the president of the neighborhood or the mayor grabbed Simone, the pastor, and said, hey, I want to tell you something. Um, thank you so much because what you didn't know before coming in was that he had actually received a death threat um, earlier that day. And so my encouragement to you guys is be bold. Um, be bold when the Lord tells you to encourage someone. Um, you don't have to go to the favelas in Brazil just to share the gospel. You never know when someone could be in that desperation in their life where they're ready to hear and to receive the good news of Jesus. So yeah, that's my encouragement to you guys. Be bold, share your testimony, whatever that may be, because the Lord wants to use you. I love you, New Life Church. Hope you have a great day.